the Uncle Cow's Sweater Emporium is back on King Street for its eighth year. In this edition of Quentin's Close Ups, I sit down with the owner of Uncle Cow's Sweater Emporium, Cow Kelly, one on one. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and download my free Quentin's Close Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. Cow Kelly. Welcome back to Quentin's Close-Ups. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me again. Oh, you're welcome yeah. anytime. Yeah. Obviously, we're sitting right now inside Uncle Carl's Sweater Emporium. Here it is. And from my understanding, you've been doing this for eight years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the biggest difference between eight years ago and right now when you think of this particular business? Um, you know, I think I caught it right at the infancy of the start of the, you know, I mean, ugly Christmas sweaters obviously have been around forever. I yeah. think they weren't supposed to be ugly back then, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, as far as the trend, as far as the parties and the events and, and stuff going on at offices and schools, you know, I think that was right at the cusp of the beginning of it, you know, it was about you know, 10 years ago anyway. Mm. Uh, and now it's just grown to where it's almost like the next dress up holiday of the year or, or not holiday, but season right. of the year as far as is, you know, like a Halloween costume. You right. Know? So people come in and they try to pick out their favorite one. So uh, it's grown for sure in the past eight years. For eight that's, years. That's for sure. Yeah. That's amazing. I know this might be a silly question, but what is the trend right now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny, you know, it's, we have the funny and goofy sweaters and obviously all the sports teams oh, yeah. and, and they do well. And then we have all the vintage sweaters yeah. from, from days gone by, the ones you're climbing through grandma's attic at Christmas time right. to find, you know. Uh, so those never go out of style. You know, as far as the funny ones, you know, some of the political stuff is kind of on trend. So uh, no matter which side of the fence you're on, we, we have it all. So, uh, you know, those can kind of be trendy, I guess. Trendy, I guess. Yeah, yeah. When you think of Uncle Kyle's Sweater Emporium, what does that mean to you? Oh, you know, it's just a fun place for everyone to come. It's very family friendly uh, and it's cross generational, you know, so uh, it's a very nostalgic feeling. And I kind of try to create that in here from, you know, the big Christmas tree in the Dickens village under the tree to, you know, I have duck hunt set up over right. here on the old console TV. Oh. So if that doesn't take you back to 1989, I don't know what <laughs> does. So, that, that does. Uh, so I try to create that nostalgic feel. And for me, that's what this store is. It's kind of, it's a good old fashioned brick and mortar store. It's, it's coming in and, and, you know, bonding and having a good time. Good so, time. Yeah. I wish I could remember 1989. I was like only four <laughs> years old. I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> for 89, so, but yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah it's a lot of fun, and it's a, and it's a good feeling. It's a kind of warm, fuzzy feeling, you know. So, what is your feeling about sweaters these days? Um, you know, they've changed a little bit in how they're manufactured. Um, you know, you can tell by when you grab one that's 30 years old and how heavy it is versus today. You know, they're more made of acrylic, which is really light, obviously durable, but. Uh, you know, when you put one of the old ones on, you can say to yourself, oh, you know, they don't make them like they used to. They really don't make them like they used to. Some of these sweaters feel like a coat. They're so heavy. But mm. uh, that's how grandma used to make them, I guess. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what would grandma think of sweaters today? You know, it's funny. We do get a lot of seniors that come in that's why it's called uncle kyle sweater emporium and not the ugly christmas sweater <laughs> store because we do have a lot of folks come in that are you know in their golden years as they say but uh, uh you know and they pick through and they see ones that you know they either used to have or they want to add to their collection so it, it is like i said cross-generational so uh, grandmas do come in here and and they they think it's a riot they, they get a kick out of it so but i'd be careful not to call them ugly sweaters <laughs> around them for sure for sure I don't want to offend anybody right. so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to clothes what do you want to hope to add to your collection to my personal collection yes, I mean I I have a closet at home that's full of too many sweaters because I kind of I like the ones from the 80s sure. personally you know that's kind of I like the old school you can tell the materials different and usually bright colors uh, but anyway um, but as far as the story, you know, we just try to keep up with, you know, the new stuff that comes out with the sports teams oh, yeah. and the funny and goofy sweaters. Um, so that's, you know, we are, we're always constantly adding to the stores collection. That's for sure. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Clemson, Alabama. Yeah, we got them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why do you, how do you make this work? 
you know, it's one of <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those niche things. It's one of those those jobs that your guidance counselor didn't tell you was available. Wait, I can do that. That's a job. I can do that. Uh, but you know, it's it's and it works well here in Charleston because it's a great mix of of you know, obviously the locals that live here, the college students, and then all the folks visiting because yeah. you know they they see this as an opportunity because they'll never see anything like this in their hometown. It's kind of really unique. So when they, when they come to visit and they go back to their home city, they take a little piece of a fun piece of Charleston with them from, from this store. That's for sure. For sure. Yeah. You've been on lower King street now, upper King street. Yeah. How has Charleston changed in your mind over the past eight years since you've been in business? <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, this part of King Street, you know, I'm on Upper King, you know, kind of across from a public and basil up here. And uh, I mean, it's it's definitely expanded up this way as far as retail and restaurants. Sure. Um, I mean, there's always been business up this way, but the volume is definitely trending up this way. Hmm. Um, you know. There are comparisons between this store and I used to be in the like the old Bob Ellis shoe store yeah. down the down the street here. Um, both of them are great, great stores. You know, this one I found out is more of a PM store. So this is you're catching the night crowd. Sure. You're catching you know folks after dinner oh, yeah. before they go out. Right. After they go out, and I stay open later because yeah. of that. And the other end of King Street. You know, that's more of a, a day-long store, and then it kind of slows down a little bit at the as it gets later in the evening. Yeah. So, um, you know, as far as business-wise, they're both about the same, just the hours are a little different of traffic. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all. Yeah. That, that's always amazing. <laughs> and Uncle Kyle Sweater Emporium, how would you describe this to the average customer in the next five to ten years? I mean, obviously it's growing, um, you know, the, from the spaces itself, you know, the size of the store keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and just allows me to put out more of a selection. Sure. Um, you know, I, yeah, I'd like to, you know, I've had multiple locations in the past. I'd probably like to look into that again yes. and, and see about expanding to more niche markets and, yes. and see where it goes from there. But, uh, so far, so good. We're just going to kind of keep moving forward and and uh, try to start doing more online because I get a lot of requests for that. Wow. I try to keep it that nostalgic right. brick and mortar, and, yeah. and but I do have a lot of folks from that get home that visited or they you know they've talked to friends. Yeah. So definitely want to expand more on the online presence and what's available uh, for sales online. So yeah. How do you mix Uncle Kyle's sweater emporium with social media? You know it's. It's 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 a lot of fun. So you know, and there's you know, you talk about social media. I had the you know the huge Santa's throne uh, built, which you know looks like something out of Doctor Seuss. Or, <laughs> I don't even know. It's just an amazing um, local craftsman here had it built, um, and and they did such a good job with it. But. Um, you know, it's it's perfect for that because we use it for like a photo op opportunity yeah. and there's signage everywhere. So uh, people post on Snapchat and, right. and Instagram oh, yes. and everything. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's great on social media because, you know, a lot of folks, again, they don't see anything like this every day. Right. So they want to take advantage of it and they take pictures inside, outside, group pictures, you know, a lot of bachelorette parties oh, come yeah. in. And so <laughs> everyone throws on a sweater, takes that picture and, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's so, a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out of the eight years that you have been doing this and selling sweaters, how many sweaters have you been able to sell? Uh, or sell, I should sell? say. Um, thousands and thousands. I, you know, I couldn't even... A lot, a lot, a lot. You know, I like to say the store has been blessed, and, yeah. it, and it really has. So, uh, for that, uh, you know, just a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot, yeah. a lot. The, the inventory in here even changes throughout the day. You know, mm. whenever a sweater is sold, you know, and that's what's nice though, because the store itself. You know, even if you wait till later in the year and you walk in, yeah. you can't say, ah, oh, it's all picked through everything. Because when a hanger becomes available or a hook on the wall becomes open, yeah. a new sweater comes out that's never been out before. Wow. So I have customers that literally come in once a week just because they want to see the new inventory. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of just winter sweaters in here too, not just Christmas sweaters, mm. but I'd say 90% of them anyway are Christmas sweaters mm. uh, and Hanukkah sweaters. Oh, yeah. We have Hanukkah sweaters yeah. as well. So yeah, a little bit for everybody in here. Everybody. <laughs> you talk about everybody. Which particular sweater describes Kyle Kelly? 
Oh my gosh. Well, it is it is a, a big football weekend, so what describes me would be the Buffalo Bills oh, sweater yeah. for sure. So, uh, But yeah, but again, going back to it, I do like the 80s sweaters just because they're unique and different. And But uh, but yeah, the sports sweaters are fun too. So, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm a yeah. big Bills fan. Yeah. So. Hopefully our Redskins will get better soon. Yeah, yeah, I got the Redskins sweater, but uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, that we share a burden in that yeah. way. Yes, indeed. They get better, so, yeah. 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 Looks like some customers are trying to come in, so I'm going to let you go. All right. Kyle yeah. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for your time on Quintus Colsus. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.